All right, so I am joined with Sabrina yes. from Big Brothers Big Sisters, of course. Big Brothers Big Sisters, that's such a hard thing to say sometimes. <laughs> BBBS is actually benefiting from Hollapalooza this evening. Did you guys get approached from Hollapalooza? Did you approach Hollapalooza? How did this whole thing come together? Um, we got approached from Hollapalooza. We've done lots of work with uh, the hospitality industry here in Calgary, and specifically Melrose as well. Um, so it was just a natural fit with their sister restaurant, Ming, to come on board. Um, and we're really excited to be a part of this this year. Are you pleased with how the event's coming together so far? Absolutely. I heard you guys hit your goal this year, this night. Sorry. Yep. Looks like and uh, that's really exciting. And I mean, that, that helps us have more children mentored in Calgary. And how do you feel to be, how do you feel personally to be a part of such an event like this? I think, uh, I think it's wonderful. It's really great to see Calgary come together for its community and especially the hospitality industry. Um, you don't often think of bars and restaurants giving back to a children's charity, but we need volunteers all the time, and their demographic is our volunteers. Um, so it's a natural fit, and we always, we're always we a donor-funded uh, organization as well, so this is a perfect fit for us. Well, I know us at Melrose here are really pleased to be part of such an event like this, especially to help out such a charity such as Big Brothers Big Sisters. Thank you, Sabrina, for joining me, and happy holidays. Likewise. <laughs>
Brown. Now they've done a few. They've done a few like radio commercials for Brown Bag. Right. So, yes. Yes. Is that good? I'm just trying to do audio. Yeah. That's great. We're ready to go. Go ahead. Awesome. Yes. All right, guys. I'm back once again with Tanya from Brown Bagging It for Calgary's Kids. Tanya, welcome to Hollapalooza. How did Brown Bagging It for Calgary's Kids become part of this event? Well, from my understanding, uh, Brown Bag for Calgary's Kids uh, became part of this through Char Cut for John and Connie. Uh, and they had heard about us and wanted to really uh, create some awareness for our organization, what we do to feed kids. And they're a top restaurant in the in the country and a uh, great chef. So we wanted to be, they wanted us to be part of it. So they are the ones that chose us to be part of this event. Very nice. Do you want to maybe explain quickly what Brown Bagging for Calgary's Kids does? Okay. So Brown Bagging is an organization that we feed about 3,000 kids every day uh, here in our affluent city. Uh, we do that two ways. We have through a downtown kitchen where we have a core group of volunteers that come in and make lunches and then it's supplemented by uh, corporate Calgary and businesses and organizations that come in and volunteer to help make sure those thousand lunches get out every day. Um, and corporate Calgary has been phenomenal to us to just sort of be part of that movement and that momentum of uh, giving back to where their hands kind of experiencing making this lunch. Uh, and then the other way we feed these kids is through community groups. So we find ways to um, I mean, the assets and the strengths of the communities and the schools to make sure there's a relationship with the kids that are hungry and find a way to, to feed them through that. That's awesome. That's definitely a definitely good program. Definitely. Um, I lost my train of thought there. I keep doing that today. Um, how does it feel to be part of Hollapalooza? How do you guys feel to be benefiting from such an event like this? You know, it's outstanding because not only uh, will the funds be beneficial for these kids, at a dollar a lunch, if we're able to raise $2,000, that's 2,000 kids we're helping, which is outstanding. Um, but it's just also the awareness that people in Calgary and through uh, social media are able to be aware, have the awareness and have those conversations about how they can make a difference, what they can do, the action they can do um, to help with the hungry kids or for something else they want to do. Donna McTaggart, who is one of the organizers, uh, has, I love Donna. We love Donna, and we love Donna. She's awesome. She is uh, phenomenal, but she also has been a very big part of brown bagging and bringing in that social media side of um, the awareness. And so um, she's so it's great to be part of something that she's she's been working hard on and to have this great atmosphere and to help these kids in Calgary. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Tanya, for joining me. Happy holidays. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Are we good? Yes. Thank you very much, Cheryl. So